So uh, how can, because uh, you were saying that it's impossible to master uh, world history, you just have to navigate. World yeah, history. yeah, so that's, that, thank you, that's one of my favorite phrases. Um, people who are afraid of world history can, you know, can see that there'd be no way to learn everything. You can't learn all the languages, you can't read all the documents. And uh, um, so that's, that's right, it means that you, you renounce knowing everything about the world, but you pick a topic of interest and you simplify it and you analyze it the best you can. So um, uh, to, to learn how to, um, not to, not to master world history, but to get from one place to another, to, to expand your knowledge about historical interconnections um, is, a, is something to emphasize. So, um, and I like to talk about ways in which all of us do ha have skills that are very good for thinking about world history. Um, and thinking about music is one of my favorite uh, such examples. When we listen to music, we listen not for the, the dominant tune, uh, we listen for the complexities. We hear one artist, and we hear that artist invoking another artist. We hear one tune, and we hear that invoking another tune. So in this part of our lives, we're, we're very um, alert to interconnections um, and get pleasure out of, out of the complexity of it. So I say that part of our mind is what we should turn to work on, on historical questions and make that uh, interesting uh, interconnections with the